welcome to Cocktails with Tiana J. I'm Turquoise, it's my mother Janice, and my sister Janice. And boy, we have a lot to discuss because we didn't do a show last week. Mm-hmm. Um, so today our topics are the unfortunate passing of Regina King's son, Alex, Ian Alexander Jr. A Tulsa pastor, Michael Todd, rubs his spit over a, um, well actually his brother, it was his brother. Dance mom, Abby Lee Miller, sues Hampton Inn and Suites. A 16-year-old girl um, is killed at Burger King. Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Jenny is fired by Bravo. A teacher is suspended for having a sexual affair with a student. Jenna Jackson comes forward and says that she's Michael Jackson when they were children. Fat shamed her. Uh, Chris Brown is being accused of rape. Um, Cardi B wins her lawsuit against Tasha K, Omaha native Brandon uh, Stryka, who was sentenced to three years probation, who stormed the Capitol, mm. and uh, much more. All right, so let's get started. Um, first, we do want to give our condolences to Regina King. Yeah. Um, go ahead and put up a picture, the picture of her and her son, please. All right, her 26-year-old son, Ian Alexander Jr. Um, unfortunately committed suicide on January 19th. Um, we're not too sure of what transpired, what happened. Um, you know, why did he feel like he needed to take his own life? But I did. Um, I heard it was from so- social media. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I um, just read an article that said that she, Regina King actually labeled social media as, as unhealthy for her son. Mm-hmm. And this was prior to his passing. Oh, wow. So I'm not sure what happened on social media. If people were saying negative comments or if he was being oh, like, it's, people are always I don't know what was comments. going on, but she labeled social media unhealthy for him um, prior to his passing. It's the reason why suicide rates have rose among children because even though he was grown, you know, it's, ro- it's rose with adults too, but mm-hmm. at uh, the age of social media, people are more suicidal because it's more bullying uh, available. It's instead of mm-hmm. spreading love, we spread negativity. It seems like, and it definitely takes a toll on a person. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I would like turn off my comments yeah. if needed. You know, I don't think you get on Facebook, but you could block those haters. You could also, yeah, you can block people mm-hmm. too, or don't read comments. Or you know, it, it's sad though because I guess if I read all the comments people said about me, I might would get upset. But mm-hmm. that's sad I just yeah, very you sad. have to all I could go back to is what's my favorite saying they talked about Jesus Christ and then when they talk about you that goes to show obviously you doing something right mm-hmm. it's just taking a lot of them they got that social media and they just it's it's ridiculous how yeah. they bully yeah, it's it crazy just crazy but hurt people hurt people misery loves mm-hmm. company and they do that because they're miserable themselves yeah. and they want you to be just if not just, more miserable yeah and just he was like a good guy. like he was a chef he mm-hmm. wants to open up a restaurant he was making music his father is a music producer so i'm just like very wow, he handsome, had a break very talented. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so rest so in peace, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace i'm like we've been saying that a lot lately yeah way too often yeah um and also Meatloaf, the rock star. Meatloaf, away. Louis Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I know Louis Anderson, he was battling with cancer. And then Meatloaf um, passed away from COVID. Mm-hmm. But he, oh, wasn't, wow. he wasn't a believer. Like, he didn't believe he in didn't the vaccine. He didn't get shot. Yeah, he, yeah. 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 Right. He was one of those That's comforts. what's happening to I liked, a lot I of liked it, Meatloaf, though, but he was, he well, was one of those Well, that was comforts. stupid of him because people have to realize you got vaccinated. You got to get vaccinated to so, go to school. Yeah, for other things. You I don't can't get even the big go deal. to school. At five years old, you have to have so many. Yeah, and it wasn't it's a problem. Just, it wasn't that it was, much pushback. Now was a, yeah. a it big deal. But it's saving lives. Yeah. It really is. And I also heard on the news that it was a guy that was turned down that he was like on the list oh, for yeah. was it a kidney, heart transplant. a heart transplant, and yeah. he wasn't vaccinated, so they didn't want to yeah, give he, him he, his uh, heart transplant. Got taken off the list because he's not yeah. vaccinated. But even when you go on the surgery, they ask you, you have your flu shot. Like it's, yeah, they it's do. a common it's standard practice. in yeah. the medical field. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about <laughs> taking somebody's 
what you're saying is wrong. Just print his shirt. <laughs> He's going to no. travel. I mean, I don't you know. have the rights to your own beliefs, yeah. but then they, but, but then, then they again, trying to protect themselves. Yeah, yeah, they have. You know, and then yeah. you got the people with it coming in there. Mm-hmm. You know, so you should be vaccinated. I agree. Yeah. And then say like, there's also a liability issue. Like if you don't abide by, like if if they tell you you can't have surgery unless. You lose I like was, X amount of pounds it. because it's you could have a heart attack and die, or you, or like they, they yeah. have those rules for a reason. Yeah, that's true. All right, so moving along, there's this pastor in uh, Tulsa named Michael Todd, and it was gross. Like he, so he was basically trying to make a statement saying mm. sometimes you don't get to see the whole view that will God's plan. Because you're like, you know, you're, it's blared out. So he literally like spit in his hand. Like he like hawked it up. Ooh. And rubbed it on. Well, at the time we didn't know it was his brother. But it's still disgusting. That, rubbed it on his brother's face. And his brother just stood there and let him off like as a demonstration. Like first off, that's disgusting. I don't care if COVID wasn't happening. That's, that's still nasty. nasty. And then he put out an apology statement saying he was misunderstood. How can you misunderstand that? That's yeah. like assault. And I'm like. That is, I don't care yeah, what you're trying to demonstrate. My sister that's so disgusting. Would have spit in their hand and wiped it on me. We would have been standing there fighting. Yeah, that's like a song. Because the pastor should even know better than that. What kind what of happened, pastor what is that? What happened to the oils? What happened to <laughs> yeah. the olive oils? Like, what, what happened, happened to the water? Water? <laughs> like, yeah, what happened to water? Like, yeah, what happened to oil? Like, now we hot spitting in there. Let's talk about seeing God's hazy vision of our selves in 2022. He don't want that. So 2022, we not vision. about cleanliness anymore. That's weird. I want to know what kind of pastor is that. I'm that, never weird. going to his church. Yeah, yeah there's a, I, I on me, some weird would, stuff. If he spent on me, I would try my best and tear he tear him a new butt. Well, like there, I've seen like weird videos of pastors doing weird shit and all like all over the world. If you're not putting no holy water on me and blessing me, please don't put nothing else out of your body on me. Yeah, like there was one video I saw I where a pastor had all of the women come up to him and let as to for him to smell their panties to get the demons out of them. Now come on, yeah, now. that don't even make, do it. Girl, that pervert, don't even make pervert, no sense. right? Yeah, and then they were women doing it. Mm-hmm. I was like, and then Whoa. I, what really bothers me a lot? People use God and this and that for to do evil. nasty evil. evil stuff like yeah. that. It, it really, but you know what? Y'all got to face them. And when y'all do, ain't going to be nobody there with y'all but y'all and him. And he going to give you what you deserve. Yeah, I was like, oh, my God. I'm not yeah, that. that's disgusting. And what then we, the holy water? <laughs> so then when I posted that, one of our viewers or one of the people that follow our page, which I deleted them, um, said he knows that we want to talk about the latest things, but we shouldn't be posting stuff like that. What? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, there was a so, lot oh, that he oh, said. But he's always making like Sn- smart, smart remarks. I'm like, don't oh, he follow lucky him. I don't read. But he's deleted now. But he, you lucky I wasn't reading this. I'm like, don't follow, don't stuff. follow us because we report on the latest like, yeah, news. And if right you don't like a, a topic, then you we don't saying have to that watch. is gross. We yeah, don't agree yeah. with it. Yeah, and then I'm like, and then a lot of I've seen that story talked about on a lot of different uh, news. Sites. And we talk about stories that people don't. Even like uh, the big outlets I'm gonna talk about. Yeah. So hello, but I just want to throw that out there. Um. So moving along, a 16 year old girl who's an employee at Burger King was murdered. Um. Her name was Nisha. So okay. So there's confusion. The cops don't believe that the robbers shot her. They believe that she was in on the heist. So what it was was her friend worked at Burger King and her father, her friend's father. Um, and his friend plan- set up this, so they all planned to rob Burger King. So she was supposed to put the money and take much money out the register and put it in a bag and give it to him. Apparently, she was taking too long. The surveillance camera it cuts, and the next thing they know that she's hitting the floor. So they're not mm. seeing him actually shoot her. That's what the cops are saying. But her friend is testifying, saying like, "No, she was in on the heist." And her mom, the victim's mom, was saying she wasn't. Like, her daughter wouldn't be part of stuff like that. And the reason why she wasn't moving as quickly because she was scared and didn't know what the heck was going on. Yeah, yeah. You know, and which mm-hmm. makes sense. Like, mm-hmm. when she was in on it, number one, why, why would she they need to She would have already had it in the bag and it would have been waiting yeah, for Yeah, and then why would they need to pull out a weapon right. if she was in on it? Right, you know what yeah, I mean? It right. just doesn't make 
That's sad though. That's yeah. that's sad it's that you like wouldn't even come to a kid to ask them if if you say she was in on it. That's sad that you would come to a kid to ask them to do that. Yeah. And then most likely she wasn't because you probably shot her because she was going to tell that y'all had it planned mm-hmm. or something. Because that's sad. Uh, whoever shot her is, is sad. That, that it, it is sad, but I can't help but notice like this trend of the victim blaming, always trying to find them at fault at mm-hmm. some reason. Mm-hmm. And it's usually a black girl or woman that yes, this happens to. Young black girl. Like, I don't never see this happen to anybody else. Oh, you deserved it, or she mm-hmm. was in on it. I'm like... Why is that automatically like the go to? Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, I, if you were in on it with somebody, it doesn't make sense for them to shoot and kill you before exactly. they even get what y'all was planning on doing. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, she moving slow. I feel she, you know, didn't in know paddock, what was know, going on. Yeah, yeah. If she knew she anybody on the heist would be ready. trying to hurry up and get yeah. the fuck out of there. Or they would have had it ready for you. Or, exactly. If she had to take the money out of the drawer, she worked with the money. Because you know they got cameras on them drawers. Exactly. So no matter what, yeah. you're going to get caught. Yeah, exactly. You like might as well hurry up and get it done. I don't see any reason they why she would They probably cut the camera mm-hmm. for a second. You know what I mean? The robbers. Because you know they know they being filmed. Then the next daughter worked there too so she probably oh yeah mm-hmm. she went back there and unplugged it yeah her mm-hmm. no good self but if y'all working at a place don't let nobody tell y'all to rob it don't because either you'll end up in jail or I end up dead yeah That's it's like i never understood the need to do shit like that anyway because like people shit work nowadays for it. don't want to work but, but that's, obviously it's... the two girls was working but the uncles or whoever tried to rob the place obviously didn't have a job but they should have uh, they should have asked for an application exactly right. exactly and um so they're being charged with murder although the police don't think that they actually killed her so the police think that they killed her <laughs> the police think they did it because you know they know what kind somebody of somebody shot her what if I shot her right it? but you know if if they didn't do it the police did it whoever did it, i think they should still go for murder whether they shot her or not, because they it's were their fault. Yes, their fault. She would still be here if it wasn't for them yeah. trying to plan some bull crap. Right. And if it was a police officer, I think they should find out who it was and he should go down to. Right. Yeah. I agree. I don't. I don't think that's <clears> like <throat> a big part of it. I don't think. Probably so though. You never know. You never know. Yeah. All right. So, moving along. Uh, <laughs> Dad's mom lady, Abby Lee Miller. She Dad's is. Mom lady. <laughs> she is suing. I think I believe it's Hampton Inn and Suites. So I think it's for eight point five million dollars because number one, she said that the hotel isn't accessible to those who have disabilities. So she's in a wheelchair. She's saying it wasn't well, accessible to <laughs> to those who are in a wheelchair. And so what happened to her? Well, she was in the bathroom. Her, she was coming out, her wheelchair got stuck and ended up hitting the door, which caused the door to fall on her. And she says she was like stuck for like 12 minutes wow. before everybody came you and helped her. She screamed. She kept screaming and yelling, and that's how someone came to help. But it's crazy to me because I'm like, if she can't, I don't know if she, is she still mobile? Can she get out of her wheelchair? I think she can still walk. I'm not too sure. I don't even know what happened to her. Why she's she in, in a wheelchair, wheelchair and teaching girls how to dance. <laughs> <laughs> she can walk. Know. But I was like, why? Like, oh if your God. wheelchair is not going, and, and if through, she came out of jail, why do she still have a show? Is her show still on? It's you just on? dance, mom. Oh, you saying that's what? That's oh, where she's yeah, coming. I don't think she it comes on still. Oh, oh, oh okay. 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 Yeah, I don't think the show oh. is still on. Oh, okay, she, then that's why she's yeah. trying to sue. It ain't their fault. <laughs> yeah. Because she could have walked to that bathroom, I believe. And I'm like, how did you get in there? You know what I mean? Yeah. You got in there with she got kept bumping her chin to the door. She's like, you know what? Hell. I'm going to devise the plan. I'm going to yeah. get some money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got in oh, you got your doors on me. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. But 12 minutes, though. So. Mm. Oh, 12 whole minutes. So we'll have to see how that that pans out. She better not get no money. Plus, a, I'm going to a hotel story. and run my wheelchair into that the door later. Yeah, she didn't ran it into that door. 
And from watching Dance Mom, Dance Moms, Abby be wilding, man. That's what I'm saying. She needed some money, and she mm-hmm. probably did that. Because if she willed it in there, she should be able to maneuver yeah, it out. Yeah, I didn't get that at all. All right. So, moving along. We'll be going through them topics fast. You won't get But, as we just give our opinion, and we keep it moving. You know. <laughs> so, um, I do want to play a clip. I'm so tired about hearing about black women is okay that and- I, I have a disclaimer for this because i this is my fault but we talked about fresh and fit uh, a little while ago about comments that they made about black women and i kind of like went down the rabbit hole and discovered this manosphere where they have the, these ideologies about how women should be and how they need to attain men so i came across this clip continue <laughs> Well, let's just watch the clip and then we'll give our opinions after. Go ahead. Who actually want men. Stop telling men that your children come first. This is not the flex you think it is, and it is most certainly not a selling point. While you are under the impression that you're communicating to this man that you are, in fact, a single mother, what you're actually communicating to him is that he will take the backseat in his own relationship. You just told this man that he comes second to a child. I don't know about you, but I don't know anybody that worked all their way to adulthood so they can have a kid take precedent over them. I mean, no bullshit. When we hear the phrase, my children come first, what we hear is they came first even before the man that was responsible for them being here. Because why are you not with them? The answer don't matter. Shut up. That was rhetorical. I'm sorry. Did you just out your mouth tell me the person on whom you intend to have as a provider for the very children that you're telling me come first, just tell me that they come first? Are you crazy? If I'm a man that has decided, to the best of my abilities and within my power, to take care of some children that ain't even mine, please believe I come first in everything. Otherwise, do it yourself. Oh, yes, this is one of those the majority of single mothers got some fucking nerve. You know why else you shouldn't say that? Because if children come first, who comes second and who comes third? I wish the fuck you would say right behind children come your ass. So you mean to tell me I come dead last? Ain't shit else left but the dog? I see y'all over there laughing. I wish the fuck you would. When them children leave that house and that dog died, then who gonna come first? Oh, shit, my bad. By your own admission, you come first. You ain't got no space in your life for no man. See, a woman without children understands the concept that her man comes first because she knows that's the only way she's going to get children. Nowadays, typically, a woman that has children doesn't understand that that dynamic does not change. You put something in front of a man in your life, and that's something that will be able to fulfill all the roles that that man would have. I don't care if it's just sex. Go get your dog or your children to do it. Right. Shut up. Understand this, a man's presence adds value, regardless of what it is. Even if he's a low earner, that's $25,000 more a year than you would have had. Plus the sex and the willingness to protect your insatiable ass. Quit telling men that children come first in your life because children grow up. They're not even going to want to be first in your life in a minute. I'll say it this way, ladies, your children are only an asset to you. Our children, however, are an asset to us. Can we go a little more further, please? All right, listen. Don't think just because a man loves you and wants you that he wants the rest of your baggage. And yes, I call those children baggage because they're not his. Quit telling yourself this lie that if he loved you, he would accept your kids. Bullshit. Men detach emotions from people. You see us do this all the time in bed. Men can have sex with nine women but only love one. That's called emotional control. Quit trying to act like you got it because you don't. Unless you a thotty thot thot, whenever you all have sex with somebody, you all's emotions are intrinsically linked to that person. We not the same. Quit expecting us to be. Go get your tea, or your coffee, or your Jack Daniels with your strong ass, and get your ass back here, because there will be a part two. All right. So that was the ridiculous clip of a guy basically saying that women shouldn't say that their kids come first when they're in a relationship. And I strongly disagree with that. Number one, children are defensive. I mean, defenseless. Like, they can't defend for themselves. They can't fend for themselves. They have to have somebody to take care of them. Why wouldn't it be the person that brought them into this world? Right. I don't get that. And why why would you even compare, compare yourself, yourself to a child? Why are you in competition with a child? It's strange. It's very weird. It is yeah. very he don't strange. even like women anyway. I said that when I first all, saw that. He don't like women anyway. He's for men. And that's why he don't want us to say anything because we taking what little men <laughs> yeah. and you think that he could have had but he didn't make no sense to me because it, we know he don't have children because he would want his children to, to come, come first. first 
You know what I mean? And when we say our children come first, we meant that if you tell us, I either your child go or I go, goodbye. Mm -hmm. You already got that figured out. It's not that your child got to eat first, your this, everything. My child got to eat first. Well, I mean, it's not that everything first, 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 first. You know what I mean? It's that your kid, like she said, is who else is going to help them if you don't? And if you teach, show your kid that a man come first before them, that's that's the cycle that's going to keep on going. You Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're supposed to teach a kid that they come first. They even come before you. But really what comes first is God. And then your kid, and then you, well, you as a couple, if you're a couple, or then you, and then that man. And if he don't understand that, then bye. But this man right here don't even want a woman. He, he must want be men. pretty heartless to not want a mm-hmm. kid, you know, be taken care of first, no matter what it is. Plate first, shower first, your time, you know? I don't get it. Well, the first thing that jumped out to me about this video, like, I, I had a lot to unpack when I watched the video. I'm like, there's a lot to unpack here and what... He just said, first thing first is, of course, my kid comes before you. You can go anytime you want. My kids are always going to be my kids. Like, no matter if you choose to stay or not, you can leave at any time. And I can cut ties with you. I cannot cut ties with my children. And then his whole spill about them not being his and not caring. Like, why? when did we start hating children? Like, I've always loved, before I even had my son, I've always loved kids. I used to be around everybody's kids. I used to babysit everybody's Mm -hmm. kids because I just love children. Because like you said, they're defenseless and I just wanted to protect children. I'm not even thinking about who their parents are. You know what I mean? I just wanted to protect children. This hatred for children that's like rampant nowadays is so weird to me. And I'm not asking anybody to be a step parent to my kid. My kid is covered. They don't need you. Mm -hmm. I got my kid. If you're wanting to deal with me, you have to understand that I have a kid. If you don't like the fact that I have a kid, leave me the fuck alone. Don't try to talk to a mother. I don't understand this rhetoric. It makes no sense to me. And it's like what Tupac said. We're going to have a race of babies that hate the ladies yep. that make the babies. Yeah. And that's exactly what's going yep. on. Mm-hmm. Tupac said a lot of stuff that's going on. He said a lot of shit on. that's going on. Yeah. And that's like one of the main things that stood out to me. I was like, why are all of these men talking about women with children and how the children is baggage or I'm not raising another man's kid and all this stuff? I'm like, well, who told you to do that? That's Like, who told you to do that? That's the men that won't. <laughs> The men, <laughs> or you've met, or or I feel like maybe it's um they see a woman that they find attractive and they find out that she has kids and they actually become jealous of her kids, like they're mad because they didn't give her kids and and so in fact they're jealous of their kids. I've seen stepmoms like that be jealous of their boyfriend's daughters or kids by another woman because they want to be the one to have his kids. I think that's what's going on here, and it's weird as fuck to me because kids are innocent. If anybody should be protected and come first, it should be the children because we grown ass adults here. Mm-hmm. You do, you're a man. You don't need to be babied. It's yeah, weird as fuck. Yeah, they be so proud to say how they're a man and this and that, and they deserve everything above. But if you're a man, you wouldn't even ask for all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you would recognize and see that a kid will come first. I don't I don't understand that. It makes no and then, sense. And then if the roles were reversed, like if you were a single father and you was dating a lady, a woman that didn't have any kids, when you want her to treat your, do right by your kids? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Your kids is innocent. And then to call them a liability, he says something specifically, he said, your kids are an asset to you, not to me. Our kids would be an asset to me. I'm like, well, that mentality lets me know right now you're not the type of guy I should want, be dealing with. He don't want a woman. <laughs> I don't, well, y- y'all might be right in that, sp- but let's say, because there are guys, a lot, when I went to the comments They don't want video, women either. They, there were a lot of guys agreeing with this mm, rhetoric. That's because you know why they, okay. <laughs> Something bro. Yeah. The kid, that's the, what the, I'm the trying to run with, though. It's yeah. the kitten, uh, the Kevin Samuel life. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but be honest about yeah. it. Quit blaming us, women and black women, for you not wanting to be with a black woman. You wanting to be with a man. Or hating the fact that they have children. I'm like, you can easily, there are women that don't have children. And if you're uh, resentful because you feel like most of the women that you would be interested have children, then boo-hoo, too sad for you. Sorry. And 
if you really wanted her, you would just yeah, what everything that comes with Yeah, you would And then it. eventually, like you said, the kid leaves. Then y'all enjoy y'all time yeah. together. But they don't want that. They they see no benefit in that. But they you feel like you're you that you that you hit a wall. They they I, I, I'm telling you, I went down this rabbit hole where I found this video. You will not believe the shit that they're saying. They're saying once you hit 35, you hit a wall, and they don't want you no more. You gonna have to settle for some but beta you know what's crazy? or some like, bullshit. They don't want women who have kids. But if I had a house, you want my house. If I had a car, you want well, if because I do, I have all that. <laughs> yeah. But if I had a car, you want my car. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what is the difference? What's the difference? If you if you want to live in my home, if you want to drive my car, you could accept my kids. He's talking like as if a woman is just living off of him. The, usually, ain't no woman living off yeah, of him because he looks like he on like YouTube that. trying to get money by talking stuff when he know he don't want a and woman he, anyway. And he also said like, so what if the man has a low income job? Yeah, five thousand dollars more than what you would have. See, and like, that's not twenty five thousand because. Twenty five thousand would help out. We talking maybe two, three thousand because <laughs> right. you don't work all right. year round. And, and what's weird about <laughs> that is you tell myself yeah, my That's assets funny. and my this and this and that. I'm like if, a, if most single mothers are doing it on their own anyway, they're making their own money. They don't need your little thirty thousand. You tell myself some it's thirty more no thousand dollars than, than what you that. have. It's like I can get that from hanging with uh, checking up with a home girl who has children. We could be a single mo mother's team rather mm -hmm. than being dealing with a toxic ass mindset like that. I'm yeah. telling you why his mind is toxic. Cause he wants a man. <laughs> he ain't wanting a woman. I would. I, I don't know. Cause I don't know this dude. I've only seen a couple of I his don't videos. Know him either, I would but definitely the say talk. that yeah. about the Kevin Samuels dude. Cause you see what happened to him. I, but I'm. I told you that Kevin Samuels dude didn't want no. You said uh, he came he out he very gay. gay. I said okay. he didn't want no woman. And. What was in his bed? A, a man. man. <laughs> I'm telling you, like a man. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, this like man, man, this allegedly, this <laughs> man here don't want no woman either. Yeah, because that was like that was some straight toxicity but you for like know three what? minutes straight. The thing I know we like to talk about stuff, but far as getting on social media, arguing with them, and looking at what they feel about what I say, because. If you don't like it, don't watch it. We or, just yeah, here to yeah. give our opinion, you know, or comments and say how sad and maybe how good things are, you know, but we have to post what's going on, whether yeah. it looks good to us or not. Yeah. But I, I wanted to address this mentality because it seems to be very rampant. I'm noticing a lot. There's more content that I'll bring up in future shows that I want us to talk about. Because, like I said, on our page and, and I'll post things on our page because, yeah. like I said, I went down a rabbit hole. I had no idea that there were so many men that had this mentality. We have no idea that there's so many men that don't want to be with women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. Oh, that's funny. It's Mama's true. Something knows. It's Mama's true. Something knows. I'm telling y'all, they. Ooh. It's not that they hate us. They want the men that they, they think we can us. get. Yeah, you know they. They don't go down that rabbit hole, and if you make a comment, you tell them your mama said that they don't even want to be with hey, a woman. I'm with the, with the Cardi B picture. My mama said, <laughs> my mama told they, me to they, tell you. They don't even want to be with a woman. And speaking of Cardi B, she won her oh, lawsuit. Oh, yeah, this so we, is crazy. So no, I think it was our last show, we discussed how she was suing the blogger Tasha K. For um, what was like, it? She lied on her. Of but she lied. Yeah. And a whole she did bunch lie. No, she lied on her. Yeah, no. I thought it was just about you know what Cardi B had said. No, she yeah. had said. She even said on the stand she lied. So that's the thing. Oh, yeah, because wow. we didn't like the, they didn't say the whole for yeah. the whole mm -hmm. full extent of the story. We didn't know that till the uh, verdict. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we didn't exactly. know that till like, the Cardi verdict. B said a lot of stuff in her songs, but it was saying like she had diseases. Oh, yeah, she yeah. put like you know bear bottles. Uh, oh, her, like, she was saying all kinds of shit about it. Yeah, her. and it wasn't mm. true. And she admitted that she she did it, but mm. it's, she was a, uh, awarded one point three million. But you said now it's they, three they, million. It's, now she she owes her three million. They actually raised that up. And this, I was about to call her out her name. Like this girl is so damn ignorant. Tasha K. Tasha K. This girl, like she is, uh, she's delusional and just out of her mind. Cause she had after. 
losing that money, she gonna go on her YouTube channel and basically regret nothing. I regret nothing, and <laughs> and the, the 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 this machine is after me, but, and all of this other the stuff. Killing thing is now. She probably can't pay her. What's she gonna do? She said that in her video. She said she got the money. This didn't break oh, her. She better and, uh, give but it to her. I'm like, she should better. She better stop. Cause even her own fans were in the comments telling her she needs to chill. Just say you was wrong mm -hmm. and you apologize and, and let it go. Like you said, I understand that you lied. She's fighting. She's fighting. She's I think fighting what, she uh, hate the fact the that Cardi is popular because in the video she kept saying, "Oh, they're poisoning our children with this nudity and profession." Like, but girl, you know what? Bye. Everybody. <laughs> Don't have to end well, up like what they watch. You don't have like to, to, don't you have to watch I mean? Cardi B. You don't have to end up with what you watch. I didn't end up with a lot of things that I saw. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't. And you, and you think it's better it's for your kids to watch you say degrading things about, about somebody Cardi, else? Yeah, yeah, that's like, not that's appropriate good for your kid. Right. That's not appropriate. The stuff she was saying was disgusting. The stuff, the stuff she was saying was disgusting. Right, like, yeah, you asking Cardi like, be so. Oh, she wow. better, I'm, but I'm like, she better shut up because like you, uh, you asking for her to get you want another three million to come out your pocket? Like, girl, stop. That's she been going on for it was going on for four years. Yeah, yeah. four years. Yeah. And she's well, like, oh, she's like, oh, I'm so glad that this four year battle is over, but I regret nothing. And that I would do it all over again. I'm like, girl, you no, wrong. you wouldn't. stupid. No, you stupid to say. Just she say sorry and you're talking wrong. Because she thinking people want to hear what she got to say, but she's gonna lose a lot. She's about of, to be can't. What's yeah, they, she, what they yeah, say? she because she's gonna lose a lot of followers for that. Yeah. Now that's yeah. now that when it comes when people are always preaching about accountability, mm -hmm. that's a woman who's not holding herself accountable. She should just say sorry and, and, leave, it and leave it alone. What you is she trying to be her? I think she's jealous of her. She wants to be she's jealous. jealous of her. I like, I when like you, Cardi when I like Cardi. Us, yeah. I like her too, but this lady is literally wants to hop in her body. Because <laughs> why are you I'm still talking yeah, about fine. her though? No. Yeah. You want to be her. Because yeah. if you can't stop, if money don't make you stop and you know you ain't got money. Yeah, if you out of pocket yeah. $3 you million you dollars and you still talking shit. She no. like, she Rick James. No, no, <laughs> fuck no. you, fuck Cardi B, nigga. Ever get $3 million? She want to be her. Now that's, that's, that's more She's disgusting the Rick, than the, uh, Rick James She said she do it all this, she do it all that she want to hop in her body. No, that's so funny. Mommy, you on the road. You, you are. That's Thank hilarious. <laughs> uh, um, okay. So, any last thoughts on that one? No. Okay. Now, Tasha, K, you just better, you girl, you need to just you say You ain't gonna sorry. never get in her body, yeah, so yeah, leave her alone. Leave party, be alone, and, and stop the madness. Your kids ain't gotta watch her, ain't gotta listen to her. Yeah, just stop yeah. it. That that whole little 12 minute rant she went on after the verdict was ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> All right, so moving along, I want to play this uh, news clip. It's about a um, pastor and his wife who, who were recent, recently arrested. So. Pastor Curtis Bankston fights back tears with community supporters. His wife, Sophia, just arrested and now in jail one week after Griffin police arrested him. They are dumbfounded, he says, through their attorney at the allegations against them. There was absolutely no false imprisonment. No kidnapping. Attorney Dexter Wimbish says the Bankstons have been operating a personal care home in the basement of their home for just over a year, taking in wards of the state and others, disabled, poor, homeless. There were seven people living here as of last week. Wimbish says the Bankstons have repaired the bolt lock that police say kept residents inside against their will. They were free to come and go as, as they pleased. No one was kept, held hostage. So um, there was more to it in the news article. So someone had a seizure at that home, and when the ambulance and fire department came, they could not access the basement because mm. of the bolt locks and everything. And once they did gain access, it was they said on news clip it was seven, but it was it was really eight eight disabled people in there in the basement. Mm. So the pastor is basically saying like. There's a lot of facilities out there um, that we have here, and you know I'm pretty sure they're in every state that house those who are disabled, whether it's physically or mental. Um, so I think they're trying to have a facility like that, but they're not getting paid from the state. They're not licensed. And they yeah, and they were um, taking in homeless people who were disabled and needed medical attention. 
They said that their meds were given on time. They were fed. They had access to leave. I don't see how they were able to leave if they almost couldn't even get in. But that's very deadbolt the door. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. And then why and is all seven of them in the basement if you got a house? Right. And, and then they, you say one of them wanted to stay? So I was going to say, yep, like seven were removed, but one gentleman said that they take good care of them. Like they feed him, make sure he get his meds, and he, he wanted to stay. So they're currently under investigation, but I feel like the setup is just weird to me. Why, yeah, like they you said, be why one in the basement if they have a house, and then why? Yeah, yeah that that it. doesn't sound like they were able to leave on their free will. Dead bones. And if they the wanted door. to have like a shelter, go about it, you know, the right way. Mm-hmm. So. Right, right, and then legally, like, cause that's that's inhumane to have somebody locked up. And mm-hmm. what if it was if, like you like, said, the fire? Yeah, the well, fire. The, yeah, uh, the, I guess the one there had a seizure. No, the seizure. fire department. Like, what if it they was a fire and they couldn't? get mm-hmm. in like that would have been they all would have been burnt, dead burnt they thing, all would have yeah. been dead you can't that's fire hazardous mm-hmm. that's like against living cold codes housing codes you can't do that mm-hmm. so that's for one that just sounds like they were doing something they knew was illegal for them to do that yeah and then if you a pastor that's what bothers me they run around with calling they sell pastors and stuff and then they do, the biggest they hypocrites do are in the church things. the biggest you hypocrites know, and the evilest people, people are in the church that's terrible look what happened to them kids in the catholic church oh yeah, yeah. see because nobody wants to protect children exactly yeah. Exactly, because mm-hmm. kids are ass, uh, assets to only their mothers who no, made bad kids choices. Are our future? <laughs> that's what Whitney <laughs> told me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Whitney told me. But that's not what these people feel these days. That well, was what in the eighties. <laughs> but those are the people. The kids in the eighties are now those distraught people are talking to us now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but hey, just because yo, you know, daddy left for a pack of cigarettes, these, and your mama couldn't find another do- husband, don't mean hey, you need to be mad at a woman hey. with children. Hey, all I know is that's what he told me. <laughs> he told you that? <laughs> well, I don't know how it ended up. I don't know, but we're not going to say that. We'll talk mm-hmm. about it after the show. I did okay. just spark a memory in your facial Yeah, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I like, it. It's good like, hmm. Yeah, <laughs> <man. laughs> your dad left for a pack of she's just like, hmm. And it's, it's yeah. Just, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, but... I, yeah, pastors are, they're acting wild. Yeah. I guess they've always been wild. They're just being exposed now, yeah. of course, because of social they, media. They out in the open. Yeah. With I it. knew there was a reason I didn't like going to church. And it, and it had nothing to but do with God. But it's not all pastors like that. But I just feel like I have my own but relationship with yeah, God. Yeah, I don't have to yeah. be in no church with somebody yeah. judging Telling me. Telling me, oh, you need in. to be this way. I'm like, mm-hmm. that ain't what God said. That's what mm-hmm. you said. I don't <laughs> believe in people telling other people how they should be. I really don't. Me neither. All right, so moving along. So a story broke today that Chris Brown allegedly raped this young lady back in 2020 on Diddy's yacht. What? T. Diddy's yacht, yeah. According to allegation, uh, according to her, she was knocked out, and she woke up to him, you know, uh, having sexual intercourse and him saying, I'm done after he ejaculated inside of her. According to her, is what she said. I don't believe that. Chris Brown responded and said, every time he has an album coming out, somebody, say somebody says something yeah. <laughs> that he assaulted them, he read them or something. Well, I will, and, and although I... I take sexual assault and violence against women very seriously. Me too, but I don't believe that. But this is where I find strange about this particular case is that she's suing. She's not seeking criminal charges. She's not yeah, trying she even, to. She even she's the just police went, after. yeah. She 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 didn't even contact the police. Like this seems to be all about money, mm-hmm. which leads me to believe that more than likely it did not happen. That there was no sexual assault. That she. I feel like maybe this was a girl who was drunk. Let it happen, and then she got sober and realized I didn't like that, and is now trying to sue. I don't think because uh, Chris Brown, let's be real, there's going to be some girl willing to sleep with him. He don't have to rape anybody. That's the way I feel. Like there's going to be a girl willing to sleep with him always. I mean, look what happened with Drake recently with the hot sauce. And that's why I don't believe he ejaculated in her and then said he done. If he 
friends of Drake. He know how to and, and that you, pregnant. If, you, if, if, if what that happened was for real, she should have went to the hospital and had a rape kit done on her. He and then know they how to got, not get you pregnant. They would have had the uh, her hit the evidence of his semen being in yeah, her. But she I'm, didn't do nothing like that. Yeah, because she, she didn't said, do yep, she didn't go. Tomorrow she's a medical student. She was embarrassed. Da, da, da. Like, who's going to find out? I get that, she, but. She shouldn't have been. I would have strolled in there. Chris Brown raped me. <laughs> yeah, she said that. She would have been Brown singing that. Me. She would have been singing his song. She yeah. like, go <laughs> crazy. Yeah. 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 She would be singing She knows she wasn't embarrassed. It didn't happen. Yeah, I that's crazy. I don't know. It, it's iffy because he, you, Chris Brown has always been problematic, but this is a very suspect I have story. To say it's, it, it's iffy because some people don't come forward because people, they feel like people won't I believe them. It's different. But then there are people who lie. But, right. Leave that alone. But but then there are people who lie. But so, if she would have went to the hospital, yeah. I would have believed her. Yeah. Well, if anybody raped me and I have a problem with it. I'm going to the hospital. Now, I do get, yeah, we all respond differently to trauma and pain and stuff like that, but the way she's going about it is suspect. Like like I said, she's not seeking criminal charges. She just wants to sue for money. That's what makes it very, makes me look sideways at it. Because she's not like, oh, he's a danger. Get him off the street. No, pay me because you did me wrong. That's what it's coming well, off of. No one's going to get him off the street. Look, we did to Rih- Rihanna. I mean, well, he was canceled for like what a few months, and then he, what he was saying, everybody's like, "But his voice is so good." <laughs> the music, because he don't even like. That's how R. Kelly got away with doing what, what he was doing like for so that, long. I like that music. Yeah, yeah R. Kelly, man, I don't care just if he like, date little girls. But just man, like he's speaking of R. Kelly, Aaliyah never came forward about anything, but things did happen to her. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you just never. Never People know. react differently. I, yeah. I know, I get that. But then again, they were in the music and industry. If I could sue man was you her. for some money, I might have them take your sperm out of there so they can know you did and something. And apparently, he texted her the next day telling her to take a plan B, which we all know is like abortion and a pill. Mm-hmm. So that's not really an abortion and a pill because you can still get pregnant. If you're ovulating, one thing people don't tell you about the plan B, people love throwing that plan B around. If you're ovulating and have sex and get pregnant and you take a plan B, it's not going to work. I it will because it, it aborts the baby. No, mm-hmm. it doesn't though. Not if you're ovulating. What it is is it, it tries to, because you know that the it can live inside of you, of you for a few days. Like seven days, I think. Yeah. So the, what it is is to prevent when you do get into the ovulation period, that sperm won't get to that egg. But if you actually are ovulating and uh, there's an egg that gets fertilized, a plan B doesn't work. Okay, y'all. I don't know about that. It's true. I, I it's, it's literally, I it's literally no in the, it's literally in, the, it's literally in the uh, notifications so the way that of it. It's advertised is that no, it's it's advertised to try to prevent like because you can still get pregnant once you become ovulating after days, mm-hmm. a couple days after you've had sex. Yeah. So. What the plan B is supposed to do is prevent you from getting pregnant a couple of days when you do start ovulation. Oh, maybe he thought the girls. I'm like, I don't know. I never took a. I never took a plan B. I've never had to. I about plan B. <laughs> I've, I've never t- what, t- taken okay, a plan B or anything Brown like that. Text the girls to take the plan B. Mm-hmm. Plan B is just not to do it. I guess people need to chill, y'all. People need to um, chill. So we ain't gonna have time for all these topics. So I do want to talk about the the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, because there's a lady on there. Her name is like, what is it like Jenny or something? Jen Shaw. No, um, the other one that just joined this, oh, this season. Her. Um, her name is Jenny. But do you do you watch the show? No, <laughs> I don't know why. I joined yeah, I don't watch the show that. either. Um, she I believe she's Asian, and before she became part of the cast she had tweeted out some things about like black lives matter negative things oh wow and so she was just um fired from bravo so she won't be back next season but i find it funny ironic how um mary who's the black lady on the show she's the pastor she's the one that married her um grandfather Mm. her Mm step-grandfather So, like, Mary had gave her a compliment. She said, I love your eyes. I love your slanted eyes. She said slanty. And 
Jenny had a fit. She's like, that's racist. That you actually, don't say, it's a racist term. You don't is. say things like that. Da, da, da. And I don't culture it is. Think... But she tweeted about Black no, Lives I, Matter. No, I get that. No, yeah, she's being a hypocrite. Yeah. She's being a hypocrite. But, but it's like, when I was younger, it was like a, a, I don't know why, it was like a common thing in the black community for if you had like the, uh, should I say slanted? If you had, you know, like those slanted eyes, it was like seen as being so beautiful, like really pretty. It was, she didn't mean it in like a negative way. Just like some people may not understand things that would offend us. Right. I think how, that's, she, yes. just literally, she didn't understand that it was offensive. She yes. literally was giving her a compliment. Like, I love your eyes. You know, I love your slanted, you know, your slanted eyes. Like giving her a compliment. People have say you have a you have almond shaped eyes, you have oval shaped eyes, and it's not a big. You got it's, big it's bug different. eyes. It's, it's different for deal. that term because it's been used just like they call us big lip, big nose, nappy hair, and they try to uh, get uh, the uh, big uh, lip, uh, big uh, nose, and the nappy it's the, hair. It's the same <laughs> thing that they did to black. They used to call them slanty eyes, like uh, back in the day, like it was used to demean them, just mm. like uh, calling us big but lips you know and how, big nose. Just like how black people turned to around them. the term nigger into nigga as a term of well, they have maybe, it. They don't accept but it, but maybe at all. she was like, you know, just. You have beautiful eyes, you know, like... Right, yeah, I think that was wrong, but I also think she's wrong, because if you can understand, you know, if you want her to understand her saying slanty eye is wrong, then you should understand what you were saying in your Twitter feed was wrong. Yeah. Like, it, that's being a hypocrite. You can't Talk call about, out... Um, I think she said when the riots was going on, or the protest was going on, it was, um, she was saying, um, if you don't be aggressive or something like that, then they won't shoot. No, saying like basically saying, uh, if you don't break the law, you'll be okay. I'm like, she said she tweeted out a lot. She of did things. calling black uh, Black Lives Matter protesters thugs. She yep. said she called them thugs. She did all kinds of shit uh, about the protesters. The she show, said she a lot of racist so in, shit. Like she's so innocent. Excuse me. I don't know. She yeah, she was a racist piece, piece well, of shit on Twitter. Fired. But for her to understand the racism against her community, but then purposely go out of her way to not ex understand racism towards another community makes her a hypocritical and then, idiot. Literally, she was talking trash about black people and all yeah. Mary did was give her a compliment. Even though she didn't mean it that way, but I do understand the term being considered racist because of the history behind it, even though you I know the black the, girl was trying to be, be nice. The, pop, the kettle calling the pop black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. We got much more to say. We still got some stuff. Yeah, we do. Okay, so we talked about Chris Brown, the Real Housewives. So there's a teacher. <laughs> sorry, I'm having to um, mark, mark myself off. So there's a high school teacher in Texas who was um, being charged with sleeping with a teenager. This is all too common. It needs to stop. Yeah, well, she's accused of having inappropriate relations with a student. Um, so it's, it was at Oak Ridge High School. The teacher is Bonnie Guest, and she's 35 years old. She was arrested and charged with indecency with a child following a student's alleged outcry to family and friends. So, so it's quoted that she said her husband isn't pleasing her at home, so he has to. <laughs> and um, So, uh, sexually assault a child? Yeah. And apparently, it, he cried out to his family about it. Mm. And so his mom, of course, is very upset. She said, like, we send our kids to school, think that they're going to um, learn and be protected, and that didn't happen. And this happens quite often. The start of the Mary uh, Kay Latona was the first very pro popular case of this happening of a teacher doing that. Yeah, and they had kids and everything. Yeah, they? they got married, and but then they got divorced. She recently died of cancer, like, a couple years ago or a year or so ago. I just, I just don't get it. Like, what would... And why would you be attracted to a child? There is something yeah. very pedophilic about that. Like, I don't care if they look somewhat older. That's still... And then as a teacher, mm -hmm. it's your job to protect them. The fact that you're Well, I love the way you say your ABCs. Like, that's a turn on to you. Not yeah. Just he's, well, he's a teenager. I look at the way school. you use that calculator. But it's just weird to me. That like... is weird. That is... it's if you And then you can understand, and I hate the fact that it seems like with the boys, it's not as much outrage because they think boys are supposed to just be sex craved maniacs, be happy to get sex anytime. No, that's sexual assault of a young boy. That is just as wrong as if it had been a girl being preyed on by a male teacher. I think, honestly, people show more empathy and sympathy when it happens to boys. a guy. Yeah, because females, a lot of times, 
they don't believe it. Mm-hmm. Or, they're or she fast. was fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or she was, yeah, stuff like that. But when the, with the guys, it's like, oh, she took advantage of him. Oh, this is so, you know, crazy. Da, da, da. But I think it's all wrong. It's all wrong, yeah, whether it it's a boy or a girl. It's mm-hmm. all wrong. These are children. They don't know no better. And you're the adult. Mm-hmm. And then for, uh, I've had seen people say, oh, well, what if they, you know, what if the kid is manipulating them? I said, a kid cannot manipulate no you adult. You let a kid manipulate you, then you should be. Like, oh, what if, what if he was flirting with her? Or what if she was flirting with him? You are the adult here. These, you're, it's, and you're a teacher. You're, no, this is wrong. That's what you say, Billy, this is wrong. <laughs> or Sam, this is wrong. You, 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 you're supposed to tell them it's wrong. You're the adult. You don't say, oh, they, they coerced me or they manipulated mm-hmm. me. Who the, f- you that damn ignorant? You, you, you a little follower? Little kids can lead you? It's weird mm-hmm. as fuck to me and it's wrong. And they need to crack down harder, I think, on these teachers. And that it's like, don't, they don't do background checks to be a teacher? But, or have they never just been caught? Or I think what it is is that there's such a shortage of teachers that they just take whatever they can get. That's sad, man. And that's sad because they make you force you to send your children to these mm-hmm. schools and they don't even vet the people that you they put in their hands. It don't make no sense. They got to buckle down on that. Yeah. Do those background checks. Do them background checks. Um, anything else? Anything else you want to discuss? Oh nope, I'm I'm good. Nothing you could think of. Nothing I could think of. Um, just off top, off rip. All right, let's see. We going freestyle? No. Oh yeah. Well, the Janet um, documentary is tonight. tonight. Yes. Um, but apparently Michael fat shamed her when As she a was kid. a kid. Aww. Called her piggy and all kinds of stuff. I said I can't believe that I have something in common with Janet. My brothers used to tease me too for being fat. <laughs> how she supported him. Remember how she wore that pervert shirt and pervert support, too. yeah, in support of him. And not saying that she shouldn't she, have, yeah. but of course, and they were kids, and you know, siblings always tease them. each other. But another thing she mentioned, which I was like, this is so cool that she addressed it, was her having the the barge baby back in the eighties. She addressed that. She said that she was never pregnant, and that what it was is that she was taking birth control pills and it made her gain weight and when she was on fame everybody probably thought she was pregnant but she wasn't she had just gained weight from taking the birth control and she said and if she did have a baby she would never because remember how the the barge family accused her of hiding it she said i would never keep a baby from his father she's like why the hell would i do that she's like i would never do that to james they said that i'm growing up hip-hop when his daughter was on there yeah Mm -hmm. she said yeah she explained that that she said even though she and James didn't work out because he had a cocaine problem is what she said. She said, I would not, if I had his kid, I would not be keeping his kid from him. She's like, people thought I was pregnant because I was fat from taking the birth control. So I was like, oh, that's great. That's great that she addressed that because that's been a rumor for like years. And um, we did, well, we do have two stories. I feel like they're going to go by quick. If I was asking if we had anything okay. else that we can, you okay. know, discuss that would be more in depth. But yeah. uh, I just want to say, because. You know, Starfree County, which is um, Bellevue, we're in Nebraska, we're in Nebraska. So, um, a man, <laughs> Roberto Silva, was already in jail for the murder of someone at a Sonic restaurant. Mm. But he apparently, like, assaulted or tried to, as like, attempted well, you know, like, murder. Well, he, like, to shank somebody? At, at inmate. So, he's, he's going, he's, they're right now wanting to sentence him to the death penalty. You see how happy he was in his that's what, That's why I keep laughing because I have the picture pulled up here. And that's why I look down at it. Oh, he was happy as fuck in his mugshot. And, and he had uh, just killed somebody. Yeah. And it's part of our um, topic. So you'll you'll see it. But that's He's the one mean. smiling. That's why I kept like <laughs> smiling at it because it, his he picture is He looked way hilarious. too happy. And so that's just some Omaha Bellevue news for those who are in Nebraska. And then Omaha native uh, Brandon. Is his last name like Straka? S T R A K A, Straka. Yes, Straka. how I pronounced Straka. it. He said he was sentenced to three years probation and a five thousand dollar fine, which is bullshit for storming the Capitol. Yes, that's bullshit. He should be in jail. But they're looking to get him more charges. He should be in jail. Yeah. Probation yeah. is too easy. Yeah, and he's like a really big guy. I guess he has a huge following on social media. Is what everybody's saying, and he's that's why they're trying to give him lenience because yeah. he's popular. Yeah, and he's um. You know, he should be in jail. Anybody that stormed campaign. that Capitol should go to jail, just like them rioters yeah. of the yeah. BML pro. They have be having them in jail for years. Put for them no motherfuckers reason. in jail yeah. for years. Yeah. Put them in jail for years. I agree. So that's just a little Omaha news from my Omaha folks. 
Um, I don't have anything else. That was a good See talk, ladies. ladies. It was. It's time to go. I'm glad. <laughs> and I'm going to tell my mama told me to tell y'all <laughs> that y'all don't like women. That's when I, when right. I go back down that manosphere <laughs> rabbit right. hole, I'm going to tell yeah, y'all. And, and my post, mama told me like to this. tell yeah. you. Yeah, you know? I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to post her oh. picture in all the comments. Like, she told me that y'all don't like women. And my None mom of y'all. wants to do, you want to show your oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I would like for people to try to, you know, help the animals and, you know, what is it? A- ASPCA. Yeah, I I do it. It makes you feel good. And, and we I love even, animals over here. Uh huh. And then I even do the St. Jude, but I haven't got my shirt my yet. But if you could afford to do that, it would be nice. You know, I yeah, just, these organizations. And, we, and, we, and, great and it's work. not like it was um, back in the day. What's the lady from that Sa- one Sally, show? Uh, Sally, all the Sally, yeah, there. she yeah, ate all the food. She blew up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's different than St. Jude's helping her. kids with cancer, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, St. Jude yeah. and ASPCA. And it's, it's, it's nothing but $20 a month, so if you and it can helps. afford to, mm-hmm. it really would help the animals and the kids with cancer. Yeah. Yes, good, good. Yes, please. St. Jude and ASPCA, support those organizations. Please donate today. Help the children and help the animals. That's be great. right. God bless you. God bless you. Well, thank you. (laughs) Thank you, guys.